Marriage. I I don't know that I agree with marriage. I saw a note that you're a big fan of like Eartha Kitt. Ooh, but of course I am. What made her like a legend? Oh my opinion? God, are you kidding? Do you not know her? <laughs> She's the epitome of a confident beauty. Okay. A confident beauty, especially during the time where her skin wasn't favored. You know, her her look, as exotic as it is, it, it wasn't favored in the beginning. She had to believe it. She had to find the confidence in her own beauty in order to convince others. And it's, it was an easy, <laughs> easy to convince us about that. I mean, look at her. Sex appeal. She was a triple threat. Mm -hmm. She can act, sing, and dance. Like, come on. Did you check out some of her interviews when she discusses love? Oh my God. Especially when it says to compromise. Oh, the now compromise? <laughs> For what? Oh my God, I love that. What, it, what resonated about that for you? Um, because uh, I, we were, I was, as a female, young female, you're taught to compromise, mm -hmm. especially for affection of, of a man, you know, you, you, which is part of why I, I walked away from a relationship that move, was moving into a, a realm where it was really all about him. I would have had to compromise. Mm -hmm. But the great thing was that he showed me how to believe in a dream and it manifests itself when you do that. And so what, um, what that moment or that interview says is that she said he can delight himself in falling in love with me as I fall in love with myself. I was like, ooh, that's pimping. So that's pimping. Like I've never as a as growing up as a young black female, I've never heard that. Mm -hmm. I come from pimping and hoeing. <laughs> like, don't come back with change talking about I just need to get a soda. <laughs> I want all my money. So, you know, it, those kinds of impressions are golden, mm -hmm. especially if you can cognitively understand where it's coming from and not just let it be about the mouth because it's coming from within. When you, cause you, when you touch on like relationships, do you see yourself eventually? I don't, are you, are you single right now or married? I'm dating. Dating. Do you see that one day that you, want to kind of, you know, get that house on the hill and husband and wife, is that, it could be far away, but. Well, no, it can't be too far away. Listen, <laughs> watch your mouth. Um, um, marriage. I, I don't know that I agree with marriage. I do agree with um, an exclusive relationship where I share my life with a man. I do believe that. I mean, I, I love what Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell have. I think it's, that's awesome. I mean, they've never gotten married and they are together. Is that just the aspect of having paperwork with somebody or just? I'm not sure. I really think that um, to be monogamous with one person for the rest of your life, I don't know. But I think what you can do is you can agree and then you reevaluate where you are. Mm -hmm. You know, I think when you do the commitment of marriage, it's almost like it's a sentence and it doesn't give you privilege or, or you know, because you never know who you'll meet. You never know whose chemistry you connect with. You don't, you don't know who all of a sudden is just that one. Like to marry somebody, I ain't met everybody yet. I don't, I have not met the, the king of Dubai. I have not met the king of Greece. I need to meet some more people first before. What does that person look like to you that would, that would get you to be like, you know what? I'm it's a feeling. Wow. He's a feeling. He's not a look. He's a feeling. I just hope he's not shorter than me. But I mean, would you say you get the, you'll get a feeling? It's a feeling. A little, a little it would be a through. feeling, not a look. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't think the, I mean, I mean, Megan with, you know, with Harry, did she really think it would be Harry? But I, Harry got swag, I like Harry, you know? The Prince of Wales, you know? Did she think it would be him? She couldn't have thought that. Mm. Yeah, I mean, and how fantastic. They look, they look like, he actually looks like the funnest person in that whole royalty. 
Everybody else looks real stuffy. No, I'm this <laughs> he looked like right. he got swag to me. I like him. Did you always have that thought when it came down to marriage or at one point where you kind of sold on? Um, I believe the fairy tales, the once upon a times, and you know, lose your glass slipper and he'll find it and bring it to you. I did have, at a certain point, but um, I think once I got into my 20s, I didn't really, I didn't see how you can honestly commit to that which is why you have a lot of infidelity because you're not being honest about what is working what isn't working because most people don't know who they are in their 20s and their 30s it's not until you get to your 40s and your 50s you really now you realize you don't care that you don't care and you care enough about you to take care of you oh i should write that down wait a minute we can we can play it back listen <laughs> I would play back. Now you realize you don't care that you don't care. And you care enough about you to take care of you. No, but yeah, that's, yeah. And that's kind of like refreshing in a sense or uh, to hear a woman say that. Because I've heard like a lot of men, they kind of will profess that philosophy. Well, I mean, because, you know, society is geared toward the pleasure of men. Mm -hmm. You know, there's Viagra or one pill for a female. Listen, I got to take a pole dance class. I got to make sure I'm doing my sit ups. I got to It's a lot of things I have to do in order to have a man desire me. <laughs> a man just needs a pill and three women because I don't know who's going to do it for 36 hours. I'm just saying. But I really think that this time we are in a, in a wonderful time where not only do men get to have what they want, but women do too. Right. And um, I just really think it behooves one to really cultivate themselves before they decide to commit to somebody. And marriage is not totally off the table. I just don't see it going that way. I do see a commitment, an exclusive commitment, mm -hmm. a monogamous commitment. But you get to evaluate it after that if you decide something different. And it, it's just a conversation. We don't have to fight. We ain't got to go to court. I don't, you know, the show Snapped is famous because one person shows up to court and it's usually the female because the man is dead.